But let me start with asking just a self-reflection question. Would you allow a 12, 13, 14-year-old kid to drive a car in the middle of New York? Just say yes or no inside your head. Would you get on a plane? So let's just pick an A380, which is kind of one of the latest jets that transport passengers around the world. Would you would you trust if the pilot said to you, I've only had one day's training and I'm going to fly you to the other side of the world? Would you trust that pilot? Yep. And would you get on a um, a space rocket going to the moon and the leader of the, the team says, thank you so much for coming with us. We're just taking a trip to the moon. By the way, I've only had a week's training on how to fly this thing. Would you get on board? I don't think so. If, if the answer is yes, you need to come and have a session with me. <laughs> because... <laughs> Because you would be mad to get on any one of those kinds of transport if those people were operating it. So why, and by the way, each of those licenses to, to fly, to drive, to pilot these things costs from hundreds to thousands to millions of dollars. Now, there's a thing sitting above on top of your shoulders called a head which houses the brain and my question to you is this brain is the most complex thing in the known universe right now most complex why do we not have a license to use this thing why do we trust our leaders to lead us when I can't see a, a license for them to use their brain. I don't trust the way they use their neural pathways. And in a way, it it's the mess that they create because they don't know how to use it. And in a way, you know, I'm oversimplifying this because, you know, this I'm just summarizing like, seven years of study into like two minutes, but you know, there are, there are simple brains, there are complicated brains, there are complex brains and there are chaotic brains. So why is it, do we trust major world decisions or corporate decisions or business decisions to people who don't even have a license to know how to use their brain? So the question is very interesting. <laughs> How do you create neural pathways? Because it's those pathways, because we don't know how to use them properly, that we get into this mess of stereotyping, gender biases. 